What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to, uh, you know, the drill. It's a legacy cube draft. The cube takes over all. Wow, that was quick. Mike is also here, and uh, he'll be here as long as his leg slash back are doing okay. Should I say leg or back or both? Totally just my leg now. Okay, until his leg is not doing well. But for right now, he's he's chugging along. So He's on some Percocet, though. He's on some Molly Molly Percocet. And... Uh, He's doing all right. He's not. He's not actually on Molly. Just, just to be clear. Two hundred bits. Could Mike hold off a full attack from Emrakul by himself? Survey says yes. Wow, really? No, not not right now. Do you think it's uh you'd be able to hold off both the Annihilator and the fifteen fifteen? Probably not. Yeah, I don't know, man. I have uh. I think you're a powerful wizard, but I don't know if you're that powerful. Mike B, what did you do to hurt yourself? Hopefully, it wasn't too bad. It was. I bent, a, I bent over for too long, basically. That's all I really did. It's a real sad story. It's one of those things where you hear it and you're like, huh, well, that's not proportional to the amount of pain you're in. What's a pick here, man? You pick it. I would just take Collision Relic. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's good. It leaves us open. It's a strong card. I was leaning towards Sylvan Library and uh, Dak Phaeton. Those are my pickups. What do you think? Oh, um, Danny DB, how long are you going to be here, buddy? Because maybe we can do Twitch Plays Magic after this once we get a uh, uh, once we get a bigger audience here. The Urchai, I think it's much of the Risa, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Could take like Stoneforge here. I could also see Zealous or uh, Nissa. These are my two. These are my two interests. I like a Stoneforge and I like a Zealous Conscript. I think Zealous is probably the stronger card, which is weird. I think it depends on whether you open a batter scroll or not. It also depends on if I get them twin boys. I'm going to just take this. It's a, such a strong card. Mike hurt himself bending over to pick up the piece of ice that fell out of his mouth. That's, that's factually accurate. It's close enough. Nailed it. Oh, well, that's an early, that's a that's an early Grizzly brand. Huh. For about an hour, sadly, and worked about. Dang it, Danny. Dang it. I just want to share this with you. I keep the other day. Terminal Dark Ritual and Tomb Animate Dead. A Dragon Lord Tarka opponent conceded. That's gas, dude. That's that's living the dream. Tomorrow night could be an option for me, as not a work till afternoon. Nice. Okay. What's tomorrow night for you, though? What time is that for me? I think you're like six hours ahead or five hours ahead. Um, what's a pick here, man? Metamorph? Mike's got them Percocets flowing through his veins. He's he's a little slow right now. No, I'm not. I want to take this Crystal Brand. It's just so early, dude. Have we played any Soul Flares in Modern? Uh, no. But I'd like to. I took Crystal Brain. You know why? Cause, I don't. Because F you, dude. Hmm. F you. I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I was, it was unnecessarily aggressive. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, maybe next time you'll learn. I hope so. I really hope so. Hostage Taker? Home Slice and Bean Man. Which one is which? I like Hostage Taker. Do we go three colors? Actually, yeah, oh. no, just take Red Cap. Just you like keep it, keep it in color. Keep it in the color. What about Inquisition? Yeah. What about Verdant Catacomb? I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's take Catacomb here. Oh, we get an Underground Sea? Ooh, that's juicy. We can take Angels and Demons. Control Magic also real good. Yeah. What Underground Sea, Michael? You know who's who. Do I? Oh, man. Uh, why are you not eating candy? That's a good question. That's a good question. Do we take the card that can help us cast control magic or the control magic? I think it's I think it's underground. I'm gonna have to. Oh oh, I like blood crypt and I like chupacabra. I feel like I like chupacabra more than uh, the other versions. I, oh, I know I I know I like it more than the other versions, but I feel like I I feel like it's 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 so much better than the other versions that it's not even close. I think. 
Do you feel more home slicey or more bean manny? That's a god. That's a good question. I think it's just blood crypt here, but I really don't like that it's just blood crypt here. What do you think? I would take blood crypt. Damn it, Mark. Oh, creeping tar pit. Oh, wretched confluence though. Oh, I'm a wretched confluence man. Can you? Can I get some support here? I would just take tar pit. Oh, you said tar. Dang it. Oh, Kalidus. Oh, Baleful Strix, man. I like Strix. I like Strix a lot. I honestly would take a Prowler and Troll. Oh, you can still, we can still do that. Duh. Also, Wretched Confluence is nice when we get that Kiki Jiki combo and we're like, then they. Modes, they're... Go ahead. I want to want you to. Oh, dang it. Popped up. Go ahead. Think about I want to hear what you think they are. Draw one, take one damage. Return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. And neg two something. Yeah, those are that's correct. Yeah, draw one, deal one. Uh, oh, you can also make your opponent draw one, and, and like this is just a, a lightning that's bolt. Target player, okay, I got you. Um, I like this, this, and this. So I like all the cards that are in our colors. Try that guy. Try this guy? Yeah. We don't really have a way to... I guess we could Baleful Strix and then just hit him for four. All right, let's do it. I'm game. Oh, Necromancy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Phyrexian Arena? Sure. That's good, too. Languish? All right. Mm. I'm not going to take the Drana. Really? That thing beats, man. Languish is real good against the green decks, though. No way, man. Language is... Oh, man. That's a good pickup. We can also throw this in the trash can and, and bring it back. Nah. Wow, Murder Scott came back? That's great. We're just looking like a solid blue-black deck here. I mean, we could splash this guy for the... For the Splinter Twin beats. Oh, Scarab God Scarab and God. Scalding Tarn and Reanimate and Bloodstain. Wow, this pack is loaded. No, I'll just take Scarab God. He's so hard to... So hard to beat. Scarab God is really hard to beat. It's uncomfortable. I like Scary Larry. I bet one of these comes back. One of these three beautiful boys. Sorry about sorry here, but you're back in leg, Mike. It's a real bummer. Yeah, he's he's got I'm not a fan. He's got a real bummer right now. Bummer leg, that is. <laughs> oh, Badlands? Hot Biscuits. Plus one anime dead. Compulsive Research, too, which is a what nice... What about Collective Brutality? Something we can get our guys in the yard. I was just going to say that about Collective Compulsive Research. Fair. Dang, we got to pass this Badlands. I bet one of these three comes back. Solemn Simulacrum is also not bad, either. Yeah, you really should amputate your back. You should probably look into it, at least. When you go to the doctor on Tuesday, you should be like, what about ampu that back amputation I've heard about? I want you to say that, and I want you to record it so we can all hear it. Okay. <laughs> I actually kind of like this better than this, because we do have Phyrexian Arena, and we have Baleful Strike. We have a bunch of, we have some ways to draw cards already. Did it happen at work? No. Can you not be a good father and donate Mike to your leg spine? Um, you know, I probably could, I guess. Is it animated or collective brutality? I think it's collective brutality. Yeah. But I don't love collective brutality. I mean, it's just the way this card, which is nice. Kills an early thing. Oh, what? Definitely taking that. L -l -l Larry. And then people in, in YouTube were like, why did he call Ashiok Larry? Because it's Ashy Larry from the Dave Chappelle show. Uh, makeshift mannequin? It's really the only thing here, but it's also a reanimate spell, so I'm okay with it. Isn't it though if they get targeted, they die? Yeah. All I need is to draw seven, bro. How come the seven and, and pay seven life is a numeral, but the draw seven cards is a is a word? Oh, that is weird. Hmm. That's interesting. Is our our num our numbers and costs numerals and numbers and effects not? Hmm. 
fascinating. Oh, steam vents is great. Yep. That's juicy. Charmand? Could be ran. Could just take the black cleat cliffs, too. You only have one red card so far, though. Looks like we have plenty of sources. That's true. Yeah, I do like the remand, actually. Oh, Grave Daddy? Also, Bedevil is nice. We do have uh, Vraska's Contempt already, though, so. I think we probably take Grave Daddy. Well, I'm more worried about Planeswalkers. I think Planeswalkers are harder to deal with for a deck like this because you don't actually have a ton of early pressure. Do we just default to Sultai? That is a late Primeval Titan. And we have Coalition Relic and Verdant Catacomb. I don't think it's a... Well... You could hedge it. You know what? I don't think... I think it's... I think it's significantly better than Isereth. Yeah, Isereth is... Man. So I'm just going to take it. Ooh, I like a Griffling Cloudscape. Yeah, that's a good one. Ponder's good, too. Yeah, I think Cloudscape's better. Numbers of 10 should always be spelled. That is correct, which is why I believe that the pay 7 life is awkward. Um, yeah, as, as an English major and someone who was an editor for like seven years, it tilts me. Um, okay, so I kind of like Vraska here. And just another hedge. Yeah, like I don't care about Graveyard Marshal or, or Forger. But like if we end up getting like Bitter Blossom, Vraska is actually pretty good because you can not only sacrifice the Bitter Blossom when it gets too low, but you get a token every turn so Michael B lives in the garbage can Michael B he's barely a man Every card in this pack is an option. This guy, if we're going green. Spellskite's nice because it takes some pressure off. I would take Spellskite. You don't like you don't like Prismatic Lens here? I like early stuff. This like, is early? Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't want to take that two-drop mana ramp. I like early stuff. Let's take the other two-drop. I do like Spellskite a lot, though. What do you put on the board? Why do you do that? I don't know if it's main deckable. Sure it is. Okay, you win. You can attack with it. Okay, Michael. Boah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to take just Hanger back here. Also good with Vraska. Ooh, I like a Biogenic Ooze. I don't think it's... I I feel like... Do you need... Do you need... Uh, Birthing Pod and Prime Speaker in the same cube? Especially when it's so hard to make that chain to begin with. I don't know. I'm going to take this Uzi, though. I'm going to take a little Uzi Vert. No, Onset, his Mac is messed up. Garbage cans are not ergonomical. <laughs> what happened? What? Did, who said what? Onset. No, Onset. No. Oh, no wonder his back is messed How did you get Onset? Wow, Gary came back? No wonder his back is messed up. Garbage cans. Oh, yeah, that's true. He lives in the garbage can. So it makes sense that his back is messed up because... There's just no support there. There's no support in the garbage can. You know? It, it just makes sense. It's just... Oh. Tretchy? Wow, look at this murderer's row right here. I'll take Tretchy. Hmm. Surprisingly, I don't think it's that close. This is a nice... Uh, oh. Uh, oh. I, was, I was like, oh, we're barely red, though. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. I like Ancestor Vision here. I also like Dark Slick Shows. Give me them Dark Slick Shows. Yeah, I like the new layout. I feel like the new layout's a little, a little cleaner. I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, I don't know if I was recording when I went over it, but I uh, I updated the slides. I made uh, I made Fibble Tip and the, the way the... Um, down here like i made it more parallel so there and no more sub count yeah I, I took the sub count off so now the donation goal is just more upfront and uh uh more more readable and then i changed the color of the event list from red to blue so just a bunch of little fixes but i feel like overall cosmetically it's nicer 
Shut up and take my money. Cassius, hey, I've been knee deep in lab reports, research, presenting at conferences, and writing a thesis. So I'm glad to be able to get to the stream. Sorry, something at the time I missed. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, dude. You are awesome. That was a nice in tune, boy. You don't like his bitter blossom? Over in tune? No, man. We got Crackle Brian and the Necromancer. Yeah, bitter blossom goes well with, like, Vraska. Cassius, thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. And I hope. I hope that your lab reports and your uh, thesis writing is going well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I always count, even though it literally says it right up here. I always forget that it says it up there, so I count. I think I'd like Bitter Blossom more here. For what? For Vraska. We get to sack one every turn. Uh, if, we're, if we get a recurring nightmare, which I fixing do we have think it? we already passed. I don't think we have that much fixing. Verdant Catacombs? I don't know, man. Take the entomb, get the grizzly busy. Get busy brizen or get busy brizen. I took it, and I don't like that I took it, but I did it. I like Sinister Sabotage here, actually. I like counter spells in this format. I'd argue with you, but we've been over this. What what do we know over? Oh, I don't like three mana counter spells. But then we get like how do you not see the power of three mana counter spells? Get over it, man. Stop being such a Mitch. Like a literal Mitch. I just want wizards to have two mana counter But if spells. they don't, that doesn't make three mana worse. Wonko, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. I finished everything literally ten minutes ago, so to my surprise, I got the twist match. That's this is actually your reward for uh for getting work done. What's the pick here, man? Is it Inferno Titan? Is it Lily? Is it Night's Whisper? Is it Serum Visions? Is it causal like Michael? I kind of like Inferno Dad here. Our red fix is pretty decent, right? It's meh, we have like two red lands. That's for you if you count as such. Yeah, but that only that's get that gets one of our red lands out of the deck. I'm just gonna take the Lily. I feel like it's safer. Okay. Oh, here's Nightfall. I like that. It's also a Vindicate. Oh wait, we're not white. Though. No. <laughs> there is a Vindicate. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, I hate you so much. To be fair, we haven't actually taken any other red cards, so this is actually completely playable for us still. Yeah, there's nothing else in this pack I really care about. This calc's pretty cool, but we can see past to that. Oh, Drowned Cat. Oh, Angrath. Angrath is very strong. Angrath or Drowned Catacomb. I think we just might want the Drowned Catacombs, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think we really need an Angrath. Abrupt Decay. Screw a tri -Belder. Abrupt Decay is pretty nice here. We also have Coalition Relic, which is fixing. Yeah. Yeah, I like Abrupt Decay here. Oh, Dark Slick Shores comes back. I don't think we want to search tomorrow because we're not going to have green that early. Agreed. We could go Dark Ritual, Entomb, and then Necromancy next turn, I guess. Well, that's not very impressive at all. Could Coalition Relic or Liliana first turn, which is pretty good. I'm just going to take Dark Slip Shores. Oh, Assassin's Trophy and Gilded Lotus. I kind of like Trophy here. I kind of like Lotus here, too, but I think, I, just want, I think we just want Trophy, which is probably better than this. <sighs> Interesting. What card don't you want to see in Modern Horizons but could see Wizards printing? Um, We'll just take Pest Mage for the board. What did we take? What did, what did they take? I actually have no idea what it took. Oh, Serum Vision. Oh, it took the Dragon Skull Summit. That's pretty good. Wow, that's a late Serum Vision. Holy smokes. Oh, Vindicate. Vindicate and I... Uh, can you turn up the mics? I'm at 100% on my TV and I can barely hear you. That's interesting. All right, well, I'm going to raise the gain a little bit. I actually lowered the gain because it wasn't... Uh, I, I raised the gain. Let me know if that does anything for you. For some reason, my mic's been being weird. Go 
Gotta talk right into the mic. Oh, talking right into the mic. Hello, my name is Jefferson Speedbump. That's not your name. Shut up, don't tell people that. I forgot we had Primeval Titan, actually. Michael, why didn't we take the Bitter Blossom? You really want to try to jam the Primeval Titan? Do I really want to? Yeah. Am I going to? No. I think we can play Trophy and... I think we can play the One Greens. The One Greens? Uh-huh. I mean, we have to add Vern Catacomb and then actually add one Forest, which is pretty bad. We have all these triple black and double blue cards. Like, I'd rather just play this and then splash the Zealous Conscripts off of, like, Steam Vents, Dragon Skull, Summit, Blood Crypt, Vern Catacomb. Because all our lands already support this naturally. Yeah. Okay. We don't really have any lands that support these, unfortunately. So, what two cuts? What's How's the mic doing now, guys? Let me know. I'm curious. I have the gain pretty high. I had to, I lowered it the other day because I was like, oh, I can just lower this gain. But that apparently didn't end well. Uh, two cuts. We can probably cut Spell Sky from the main. Sure. I like everything else. What, what is it? Which one? Of the, which Lily is that? This is the one I like. She gets a graveyard creature back where she negative two, negative ones. And their emblem is make a bunch of zombos forever. Can't help but notice you're not eating candy. I can't even. I can't even. I don't even know how to begin uh, to address the the grammatical errors in that sentence, my friend. What'd you say? I said her emblem is like unbeatable too, right? Her emblem is real good. Cut spawn. I know. I really want to try spawn. We only have seven creatures as well. I'm just, what's the actual text on spawn again? Uh, Spectacles 3, so if you end up hit connecting with the Baleful Strix, um, you get to play them for 3. Mm -hmm. Flying Trample, 4 for Flying Trample for 4. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals 1 damage to each player. Then if you have 10 or less life, it put you put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. So he just gets out of hand. He's just a big flyer. I mean, our red sources are 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 5 red sources without even playing a Mountain. I think we're actually fine on red. Once again, grammar keeps people from living their best lives. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, let's just play 41. I don't know what to cut here. I agree with you completely. Uh, No red. Nice. It, wow, that's weird. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That seems like a lot. I'm going to go to 10 black. For blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is nine, ten. Yeah, I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is wait. This is, is there? Oh, Steve Vance doesn't count, so it's ten. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, ten, nine. Seems great. This is only fifteen lands. Wow, we get two more of la two more of each land. All right, just got even better. Nice, yeah. Oh, that was meant in a comment for the base, the potential green splash. Yeah, we're definitely not going, going for the green. Yeah, it's just too rough in the mana base. What's a goat lozenge? Is that a lozenge for goats? Is that a thing? Sure. Okay. Well, excuse me. Michael, you don't know my life. Right, I don't. It's a lozenge made of goats? Huh. This is all very confusing. Oh, we got that turn one in tune, boy. I'll keep this hand. Do we drop it like it's hot? Yeah, we don't really need to. You know, but I don't want to draw a gristle brand either. Okay. Let's draw them now. Okay, we can. Yeah, that's why I literally, as soon as I said it, I was like, it's okay, we're just going to draw it this turn. Well, I can't beat that. Oh, God. Oh, Wretched Confluence could be great here, but 
I, I'm afraid the damage is going to be done. This is why you got the languish. Pop it in the trash can. Ch -ch -ch trash can. Pop it in the. Oh, that's good. That's great. I'm a fan of that. That's good. That's great. Great. We have to remand that. I don't want to take a hit from it, so. Oh! You got oh. there, boys. Oh, <laughs> buttery biscuits. Buttery biscuits. Nope, that's not coming to play untapped. Gotta do this guy. If they try to equip it, I think we just kill whatever they equip it to. Why would you and Gristle Man not care? You know, your strategy is a good one as well. I'm just afraid of like a. Uh, they, they're playing green. They're going to have Rexadra Acidic Slime. They have four cards. One of them has to be those two. So they're just going to do it. And we're going to be super sad. Are you ready? I'm ready for the sadness. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. But tree biscuits? That sounds disgusting. Michael was, grown on, Michael was born on the butt tree. In butt tree, Louisiana. But tree, Louisiana. Please stop. Is that what you want? What are we discarding here? Probably Coalition Relic. But these are both five drops, and I like being able to cast them. I won't block with my Gristly Bristle. Actually, I'm gonna F5 because if they ever, if they do have an answer for this guy, I want to draw cards. Okay. They're going to neg five. I want to draw seven because I want to I want to discard something worse. Now I'm probably just going to discard Phyrexian Arena. Two, two. Oh, wow. Wow. They just happen to have Dismember Eternal Witness in hand and a way to untap their lands to use it twice. That's... That is impressive. <laughs> you got it. That's... That is something here. And then we take six... And we have no way to deal with the sword. So now we take three, four, five. Yeah, we still take six. Uh, we have to discard three cards. That is a lot. I don't think Ashiok's going to do much here. No. I don't think we need Relic anymore. And we can get rid of one land. Yep, go to six. Discard another card. But they didn't actually do anything with their mana, which is good. Wow, if we had one more land, we could actually bounce the sword. Well, we can still Confluence, right? We have a wood, it can't kill this. Why not? Because it has protection from black. Oh, does it target? Confluence? Oh, I thought it was all creatures. Too. Oh, no, it's target creature. Oh, that'd be sick if it was all creatures to get neg two, neg two, and then you can, like, you could, you know, cr uh, cry the carnarium or the, or languish or neg six, neg six. I guess we can actually steal... Nothing. 
But I mean, it's still. Oh, yeah, we can yeah. untap a land, and then actually, we can we can just untap one of our own lands, and then we have a blocker. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Uh, untap this. Yeah. So now we can block here, and when they go to re-equip, we can kill whatever they re-equip. Oh, I guess we could have stolen this. Oh, that would have been that would have been a lot better. Wow. Yeah, no, no, wait, hold on. Whenever quick shields comment damage to a player, that player discards. Ah, uh, yep, that would have worked. I wasn't sure if we hit them with the sword. Yeah. Well, they're moving the sword now. We can just kill, kill it now. Well, no, I'm gonna block. Fascinating. Because now they're gonna re-equip. And when they re-equip, we can murder a scout, whatever they try to re-equip, and then have the mana to equip again. So, yep, murder a scout, that dude. One, two, three, four. And now we can, like, oh, wow, that was That's perfect. That's really good, yeah. I would not do that. Yeah, I think I like having it in the hand better. Thank you. Whenever an equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and untap all your lands. It would have untapped their lands because they control the sword. Yeah, that's why we didn't do that. The the player would have would have. That's fascinating. Um, the player we attacked, the player the the player it was dealt that was dealt combat damage would discard a card. But it says untap all your lands, and they would still be the controller of the sword. So, I, I don't think that was I don't think that was a misplay. Wait, oh wait, why did it? Huh? Yeah, it's probably what targeted that. Yeah, I don't think it was. I don't think that was weird. I mean, we're definitely just bouncing it here, so. It's gonna take time. Oh, well, we are at three, so. Wretched Confluence drawing us cards, not necessarily an option. Heard your Saffron Olive impression, I nearly peed my pants. That's hilarious. I'm glad I could bring that joy to you, that Saffron Olive joy to you. Heard your impression. Nearly peed my pants. Okay. No, well, that's pretty good. It's okay. You think I care? I don't. I mean, this is the this is the annoying card here. Right. God, these things just don't do anything. Oh, zealous conscripts again. We can just get the zealous conscripts back. Steal the walking ballista. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Yeah, what does that do? Uh, we can't steal the sword and equip to the side cloud skate. We only have five mana. We have six mana, not seven. How big is the walking ballista right now? Uh, we also can't sacrifice it because it only has one counter, but it's getting plus two, plus two from this. You guys actually... I think you guys know how magic works right now. How big is what? What did you say? 3-3. Don't worry about it. I figured it out. So we can get back Zell's Comptrip. We could steal that. We could kill their Nyssa. Oh, we got Grave Titan in the graveyard. I mean, we just can't. We just have to get this guy, unfortunately. Well, maybe that's fine. You can make him discard the last card. Yeah, I think it's still fine. I mean, they're going to shoot us, I imagine, at this juncture.
I mean, they could put a counter on this guy, put us to one. I think you guys are forgetting that Ballista, that Sword of Feast and Fan makes it a 2-2 base, which is kind of weird because it's, it's a sword. Yep, that is fine. This actually gains us two, which is not bad. Okay, I'm a fan of all the lands we're hitting here because it lets us do multiple things. Oh, uh, if they put another counter on this, we're just boned. And we have nothing that can actually target it. Ugh. So we kind of have to play this. And actually, maybe we play Scarab God. And then we can play Eternal Witness to get back Narcomancy. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, let's collect a Brutality here. I'm going to discard the Wretched Confluence, I think. Sure. I just want to look at their hand and see what they have. Uh, choose th Woodfall Primus Terastodon. Wow. <laughs> That's a yikes for me, dog. Um, I don't think we're getting anything back. Might as well just plus here. Yikes. That is a yikes for me. In case they kill, like they could put a counter on this and then shoot the this guy. And I, don't, I just don't feel like blocking here. Also, if they make it a 4-4, I want to be able to double block and trade. So that is fine. We have a Lilian on board. I'm completely okay with that. I will double block. It also gave back Gristlebrand here. That's that's actually good. Yeah, that's actually true. And if we can get a hit him with them, I think we're golden. Once we gain four life, we're in like such good shape. Wait, what else? We're no, we were gonna get no, we're gonna get we're gonna get Eternal Witness back, and then we're gonna get Necromancy and just play it. Oh sure. Yeah, that's just better, because then we have seven life instead of four life. Well, we don't have an 8th land right now, and I'd rather just... Um, eh, might as well bottom this. I don't really feel like we need the land at this moment. Uh, let's do it on our Gristle brand. Alright, so if we can just survive this turn. Yeah, we just didn't fade a turn. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the pro-blackness of this guy is pretty complicated. But here we go. We know they have Terastodon and Woodfall Primus. We know they are three lands away from casting either one of them. And they can only put one counter So on. they can deal us three. Unless they top deck like a Rex Sage or something. Or an Acidic Slime. Just got done reading your article and cool stuff. Once again, I didn't even see a place to comment. Maybe my computer is working. Great article as an aggro player. Time wipe makes me unhappy. I might have to start playing control. Uh, at the very bottom, there should be Facebook comments. So if you're not a Facebook user, that might explain why you're not seeing it. But even so, like it should still be there. I'll right. see if nothing we can reanimate and kill him. Okay, they're putting a counter on it. That's good. This is good stuff. Yeah, I think we kill him here. Oh, Gristlebrand. Yes. Gristlebrand is a dude. You ever seen a Gristlebrand before, my dude? Once or twice. I like Spellskite just because it does deal with the stupid sword. I also like Languish here. Probably over Spawn. Sure. Miranda's Wake, what's going on? Illusions donated. GG, my dude, what's up? Did you say sure? Mm -hmm. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. 
I'll send you to the cleaners. Also, I like these Vraskas because they both deal with the sword. So does Abrupt Decay. Like, all the green cards seem very good here. Hmm. <laughs> Rob once made a PPTQ top eight. <laughs> oh, man. Michael, how you feeling? Uh, leg's still pretty bad. It, it goes from manageable sometimes, though, so I don't know. How you Maybe doing right now? Better. Right now, it's uh, it's getting up there. I can definitely sit through the rest of this draft, but I don't know about another one. He, he got them Percocets. His mom was like, I can give you my Percocets. His mom owns a pill mill because it's Florida, so she just... She's actually the whole big pharma. That's all my mom. She made she made a bunch of pills. She made she just made the pills for him before... Uh, need me to rub you, Michael? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that you clarified. You're like, Michael, I'm talking to you. Do you need rubbing? What are we taking out here, man? Wretched Confluence, maybe? Sure. Our deck seems good. I don't know, man. When the deck has Terastodon and Woodfall Primus, I'm real grateful that we have the Sinister Sabotage. Oh my god, come on. This hand is insane if we just had... Lands? Literally, I would take one land for this hand. Really? Wow. Well, maybe not, but... Still so bad. <clears throat> Okay, put two cards on the bottom of your library. <laughs> I'm basically dying here. Wait, did you just put a black land on the bottom? Nope, I put an island and a murderous cut. Okay. I'm having a, a handful of raisins, guys. Oh. Raisins are gross? Wow. Raisin, raisins are rotten tomatoes in the same way that uh, sun-dried... Or rotten raisins, the same way sun-dried tomatoes are rotten tomatoes. It's just not a real thing. Or the same way, like, craisins are rotten cranberries. It doesn't... You, you, your, your logic is not holding up here, buddy. I'm used to fast forwarding on YouTube when your opponents are playing too slowly. Any chance you can speak faster at random intervals to mimic the experience? Oh, and I can't believe the day I actually gets you live is Mike B's birthday. I want to remand this. I feel like you just remand anything when it's like turn three and it's a. <clears throat> yes, play all these little creatures. Oh, all right. <coughs> God, I'm basically dying here, guys. I'm so sorry. Anything sun-dried is gross? What are you talking about? Oh, my God. You're crazy. You need, Your palate needs some refining. Sun-dried tomatoes are delicious. Sun-dried tomatoes are delicious. Craisins are delicious. Raisins are good. I, I don't know if raisins are, like, on the same level as the other two, but they're, they're very, very good time them out <laughs> you're sun dried every day so are you gross? <laughs> I'm pretty sure pepper is sun dried oh wow coffee used to be sun dried oh my god we're getting real uh... isn't pepperoni just sun dried pork oh man hashtag sun dried alright they played a forest they cast cultivate so they still have a forest in their hand I really want to land here so I can two for one them, but I doubt we're going to get a black source here. Or it'll be a Dark Slick Shores, you ready? I accept this offering. I want to hit a Terastodon and a Woodfall Primus right now. I hit neither of them. I hit zero creatures. So five, six, seven, eight, they have nine mana. They're just going to literally, they're just going to Woodfall Primus and kill us. This is not how... This is not how I saw my life going. Are peppers better sun-dried or not so much? I have no idea. 
depends on what you're making them out of. Rob, Astra just messaged me and she's like, would you like to borrow my husband tomorrow? And I was like, I would love to. So apparently you're getting sent over tomorrow after work. So I guess we're hanging out, buddy. I don't think I had any plans on Monday. I wish I could find granola bars with raisins nowadays. They're all freaking freaking chocolate chips with chocolate fudge coating with marshmallows and tar and I'm just like, whoa there, buddy. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. I'm just like, God, they need to take that, dude, they need to take that, take it easy. Take a step back there, granola. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, the vomit is just exploding from my mouth. Also, Frank, I just responded to your article. I play Citywide Bust in my sideboard deal with Mono Green. Yeah, that's actually another. That is another sweeper. Oh, they left us with an island. How? Oh, look, we found the Languish Land. Do we just, like... What do we do? We die. I feel like Languish is worse here. Now that we have three threes and they have a nine nine. You're right. But you're two lands away from rest contempt. Your mother's a two lands away from your father. Hmm. Got him. Did you did you feel it in your soul when I got you like that? I knew you did. You don't have to say it, man. I know. I know. I'm here. Oh wow, they're gonna just green sun for casually green sun for seventh and a hornet queen. Well, the languish is getting better now. If we can triple trade here and then get this like languish out, I mean it's a long shot, boys. But it's a long shot, but it's the only shot we got. Oh wait, we kill this and then we if we hit a land, we can necromancy it. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. See, this is why you don't concede in cube. There's just too much stuff that happens, man. I mean, I'm not saying we're gonna win for sure. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying, like, we're definitely not out of this game. Oh, my God. Stop playing Dirtle. Oh. Oh, see, that's bad. See, that's negative. Yeah, no, I think <laughs> we're dead. Wait, this guy just comes back? And by that, I mean, by comes back, I mean comes out? Just about to be. Or her. Or that. Or her or that? Um, just, yep, yeah, that's not going to do. We need lands. All right. But see, the point is, we had plays. We had game. We had some action. We had some action, Action Jackson, Michael Beeble. Green's just too good, man. I still like language. I still think language is a solid plan here. Hey, man. Yeah, man. What do you think about this? I think in this version of the cube, the blue deck somehow got weaker. Doesn't it feel like that? It does feel like that. But they take a lot of like good counter spells out, right? Or we just haven't yeah. seen them. But there's no, like, there's no mana drain. But I guess that's not legacy. Hmm. I haven't seen Counterspell. I think it is in here. I think I've seen it. Hmm. I've never played it personally, but I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eye. It used to be ruthless. I've seen it. You know what that's from? Yeah, dude. We just watched it, man. We did. We did just watch Pineapple Express. why um i would totally keep this hand if this is a blue boy yeah because then we got strix and we got ash and they got ancestral like this hand is actual perfect if we can just if literally draw a blue right but we're on the draw on the play rather so we'll keep this this seems great oh and oh blah, keep it's got the combo boys i think we just got to hero's downfall here sure because frexian arena is going to draw us into other stuff so we get to go turn one, Entomb, keep up Remand. Oh, this could be very good. I think this is probably going to be too fast. But I've said things like this before as well. Um, big Gristle. Well, we did hit the third land, so we get to bounce whatever they do here. How did you find my nickname? I haven't heard. Of them. I haven't heard Action Jackson in like twenty years. Well, you know, like you do. Bring it. No. 
Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Burr, burr. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, boy, that was a good hit. I'm going to go one, two, three. Big Grizz up in the his. Even if we, even if they kill it, we draw seven. Like, it's just too much. Oh, my God. God, they never don't have it. It's really ridiculous. What does it matter if we have it if they always have it too? And that's in, in, in a world in a in a world of everyone having it, then they, everybody always has it. Yep. Actually, this uh, this murderous cut's much better now. That's true. Oh, we also have makeshift mannequin, so. Yeah, this is actually not terrible. Oh, we get to just murderous cut this guy, and then... Yeah, this is also pretty good. Suspend you. Murderous cut you. We'll get rid of Dark Slick, Underground, Necromancy, Entomb, Pay a Black. Get my attack on. Discard... Uh, Womp, I guess. There are always haves and there are always and the always haves. There are the haves and the always haves. That's true. That is true. We are the haves and they are the always haves. Oh now we get to untap and keep up Keep up centers to sabotage right before right until we make shift mannequin this crystal brand. I like making them deal with uh crystal brand multiple times. That's what that's what makes me feel good about my life. Plus they gave us nine power, so this feels just this just feels good. We're just living we're living our best life here. You had it, they had it, and then you had it again. I mean we drew seven cards. Like if you don't have it after you draw seven cards, it's come on. What are you doing with your life really? The answer is nothing. Literal nothing. Hey man, remember that time you don't like three mana counter spells, but they're literally gonna win us the game because they're at two and they have nothing to do here. Being able to hard counter any spell in the cube for three mana is actually such a bargain, dude. Like they're spending six, seven, eight mana on their on their crazy threats, or they're putting a gristle brand into play for three. But you countering it is such a big deal. Wow. I just threw some raisins in Mike's drink. Got him. That just gives me delicious raisins. <laughs> no, it's just grape juice. Oh, good games. The answer, my friend. Is this round one? Dang, I thought this was like round three or something. Feels like it's been forever. Chief Uckle, what's going on? Unless, it's always funny when they go good games because you think you won and then they kill you and you're like, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I think that my, my mouse is stuck, so I think it's over. Yep, cool. Alright. Keep it rolling, rolling. Wow, we reanimated your soul brand a good amount of times. I think it was three going on four. Oh, snap keep. Snap arena. Snap arena, McKeep Ruskies. We do need a second black and a way to put this gristle brand in the garbage can, but, you know. Oh, we're in the combat step. I'm gonna get out of that. Are you just eating those raisins now? You put a couple of raisins in a guy's drink and then he just starts eating the raisins. It's like it's like I it's like I gave him a fish, and then I taught him how to fish, and then he fished for a day, forever. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. He's eating raisins. That's correct. I was I was just as confused as you are.
I get far more cramped to GG's on Arena than I ever did on Moto. I, I have the emotes off, so I don't have to deal with that bullshit. I don't like my opponent drawing three cards at some point. Look at our beautiful mana bases. I'm just going to Heroes now for the last thing. I'll keep a remand here. So we can actually remand it next turn? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a mess. You garnished his drink, now he's eating the garnish. Yeah, it's like I put a maraschino cherry in his drink, and then he just started eating from the bottle of maraschino cherries. <laughs> Basically the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. na, 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 nailed it. I'm going to maximize my bluesels. We're definitely remanding this. What are you doing? Just stop it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think they're going to have an artifact. <laughs> I bet you don't, nerd. Yeah, two lands. Perfect. You ended up with the same amount of cards you already had. Actually, maraschino cherries are delicious. They're basically just candy. No remand? No, I just want to get rid of it for good. Oh, boy. I'm glad I didn't draw that. I need water. Water, water, water. I also need a beverage. What do you want? Um, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, this guy, huh? This is fine, because I'll just treachery this and then untap and keep up a Romando. Oh, we could just play that, I guess. I think we're going to do this first, because it lets us do both. Oh, oh no! I didn't mean to tap that. I don't know why it's still tapped. Because I don't have any mana in my pool. Are they killing their own Pyromancer? Sure. <laughs> you got it. A bold strategy, Cotton. I was afraid of a counter spell, which is why I didn't play the Grave Titan, because if they have they had like four cards, three cards in hand. Some high number of cards in hand. Oh wow. Oh, their hand was a garbage. That's fascinating. Wait, what? Don't have a counter spell. You didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. It's going to have six here. I have no responses. My name is Michael. I have a big boot. My name is Michael. I got a beverage. It's a little song I wrote for you. Buddy, you need to take it easy on your whole life. What, they just play Falcon or the Rest of Crab with no attack? Fascinating. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, that's fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> uh, gains indestructible till end of turn. That does nothing against my wretched confluence. Correct. I will draw... Choose target player. I will draw. Kill both of these jabronis. And then any land we get to play, keep up our man, which is nice. We're doing this first because I just want to maximize the damage we're going to get through. Okay. That's not going to... That's not going to do what you think it does. Okay. I don't know why you did that, but okay. <laughs> I guess if that makes you feel better. <clears throat> Who am I to stop you? All right. Well, Grave Titan looks like he's gonna he's gonna really do some he's gonna do some do some loving here. If you know what I mean.
What did they do? They just firebolted a zombie? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's a good one. Oh, they're gonna V click. Pay costs, huh? You got it. Take a gander. Take a g -g -g gander. You want to kill in response? Well, how? Never mind. It's a sorcery. <laughs> there you go. He figured it out. Nailed it. That's what I figured you'd take. Team looks looking pretty bad here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one man away from just hard casting Grizzly Bristle. Sure, get that chump on. I mean, our hand is pretty gas. We also have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17 power on board. Wow, one Grave Titan. And uh, that's all you need, my dudes. What did they have? They had Lightning Bolt and Fire Bolt, neither of which I care about. Thief of Sanity is annoying. Do we have any, like, early removal? Not really. Collective Brutality kills it. Hero's Downfall kills it. Liliana negates it. Vraska's Contempt deals with it if we're on the play, which we are not. Wretched Confluence deals with it. Murderous Cut. All right. I mean, we have a bunch of answers. <sighs> I always feel like Ghost of Brown was supposed to be cast. BB, 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 BB. <laughs> yeah, seven Bs to draw seven and gain seven. And pay seven. It's sevens all day. Crystal Brand is literally the, the seven up of, of magic. The 7-Up of Magic. Just like your mother is the ginger ale of magic. She is? I don't know, man. What do I look like? Your dad? Couldn't tell you. Why don't you go get cigarettes, Michael? Oh, this hand's great. Turn 1, turn 2, queue up counterspell, gristle brand, grave titan for, the, for, when it, for when the going gets rough. Here we go. Oh, we can get an underground sea with this too, which is nice. Because then it turn it turns this on. I remember a while back you were reaching out to ask about other forms of content you can make. Whatever came of that search. Um not much. Nothing that 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 has truly changed the face of content in my in my life. Uh we want to, we want double blue for sure. I guess we can actually just get land here. Oh, I guess this is also an answer for um, Thief of Sanity. I'm just gonna play this. Do we worry about like a haste creature? <laughs> nah, don't care about that. It's nice that your friend's face is squared off so he doesn't block the third card in hand. Yeah, that's that's deliberate. <laughs> it's not. It's just uh it just works out that way. That's just the length of the Sometimes I just like to be half a man. Sometimes he just likes to what'd you say? Did you say half a bit? Half a man. Oh. He's half the man he used to be, that's for sure. If they don't do anything here and we just get to keep up, boy, I feel like this game is over, but we just get to keep upticking Liliana while we have Sinister Sabotage. Atomic Frog, thank you so much for the resub. Also, if you guys are enjoying the content, I stream at least four or five days a week. Thank you. So you just let this resolve? I think so. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Um, so if you guys are enjoying the content, definitely I would 
definitely uh, recommend and appreciate so subs and follows because those are super, super great ways to support the content. One, two, three. Leovold, thank you so much. 17 months in a row. I really appreciate it. I'm going to bottom. No, I'm just going to keep it. So one of the dopest guys on the intercube net. Thank you for the content and laughs. I enjoyed the real life experience. We get to share from both you and Mike. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Remember that time they tried to win with Kiki Jiki? Mm-hmm. Uh, Pepper Tom remembers. Craig, thank you so much for the seven months in a row. Really appreciate it, my dude. So now this guy is... Dead. I mean, if they have Splinter Twin, it's still scary, right? Yeah, we this is an instant, them. though, yeah. Oh, why we just win the match? No. <laughs> I guess we just win the match. I guess going up to eight cards with an active Liliana is uh, that's all it takes. Uh, our deck ended up being pretty sweet. I don't know if you knew that. Are you feeling better, Mike? No, Mike is actually made of garbage. So sometimes it manifests, and uh, he just ends up feeling like, like himself. Couldn't say it better myself. Let's let's try this Kerwit mask on again. I will play first. Oh yes. Snap ems, mick keep ems. Unfortunately this does not come down untapped on turn two. So we will need like an underground or a swamp to cast this baleful strix, but I think turn one ancestral is still pretty solid. Okay, Grandma. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Where is my eyeshadow? Did I have the wrong ones on? You did. You're wearing mine, man. Get your right glasses. Here, put these on while on top of yours. Okay. Oh, we, look. We hit the land we need. Put them on. Put my glasses on me. Oh my god, it's just popping right off. You know what? It's good enough, right? <laughs> sure. Where's a six? Alright. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take this off now because I you enjoy like to be able to see. Yeah, I like the freedom of my face. Uh, is that Tango Mask from the unboxing? Yes, it is. That is a gift from Kerwit from Japan. Oh, a bitter blossom. More like a butter blossom, am I right? B -b -b butter free! You know what I'm saying? No. One day you will. And this was the last hit that Baleful Strix ever got in. God, but Bitter Blossom's pretty scary. Mike looks normal? Yeah, he does. What's the sound Little Man makes? Mow. <laughs> Cl classic. Classic Mike quality. Oh, Birthing Pod. Sack this guy to get a one drop. No, they didn't. I don't know what's happening right now. Dang it. Well, next time we can go Zealous Conscripts, steal this, sacrifice it, and we don't have a 6 drop. Or a 6 land. Hmm. But can we get a 3 drop? Do we have a good 3 drop to get? Uh, 3 drop, 3 drop, 3 drop. I don't think we have any creatures for 3. Oh wait, we have the Demon Boy. No, wait, he costs 4. Mike, I had tons of back pain and stuff. I went to a chiropractor and oh man, what a difference. But now that I have lost over 100 pounds, I have zero back issues. I was 416 pounds for six months ago, current 296. That's insane, dude. I feel tons better. My energy level is crazy. Cut my BP medicine in half. I can bend over and tie my shoes and play with my kid again. It's truly life-changing. Yeah, man, I can only imagine. That's insane. That is a life-changing experience. I'm gonna take one here. Blood gassed. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna crack this dude for sure. They're gonna take another two. God, they're basically just killing themselves. Death by killing themselves. 
That's a good one. That's a good one to, to birthing pod too. <sighs> yeah, Mike, you want to start going to the gym? Probably have to. I'll do it. I'll go with you. I'll gym it up. Oh, do we get to draw cards this turn? <gasps> oh, that's exciting. I was worried we wouldn't have a lot of things to do. Um, Wretched Confluence actually seems pretty decent here. Death by Snoo Snoo. I mean, we could just makeshift mannequin these three. Or not, uh, Wretched Confluence these three. It's like the only real good thing to do here. They don't have mana to bring this back. If they have a land, they can bring this guy back and get a three drop, but that's not super exciting. We don't really need more cards. Um, maybe we can actually draw a card. I don't blood gas can't block anyway. Oh good, we drew another land. How nice. Uh, let's discard island here. You can't add exercise bad eating habits, especially drinking your calories. Yeah, I actually, uh, I don't think I drink caloric drinks ever. I either drink uh, water, water with Mio, or just like a diet soda. I stopped drinking caloric drinks when I realized I would get like five refills at a restaurant. And if a, if a drink is like 120 calories, then it's just like 600 empty calories of beverage. And it's just, pr oh wow, that's... Uh, Pretty good. That's a dude, isn't it? We could steal it. They're 11. If they sack it, they go to 9, and then they go to 8. Looking at Mike and his Starbucks. Oh, in your face. You little star bitch. Got him. I got you. Don't wow. even don't even think. Don't even try to not to not be got. They have six cards in hand, too. Brutal. Yeah, soda's not really an issue for me. I don't drink that much soda, and if I do drink soda, I try to make a diet. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't drink a lot of soda. One thing, one thing he does actually drink a lot of though, which is pretty rough, is mac and cheese. He just drinks that shit right up. <laughs> what did they do? Oh, they just played Lumbering Falls Tapped. Got it. We can grave tooties. We can zealous conscript steal this guy, attack for three. They'll probably block here. We'll draw two, but it won't leave us with much. I guess we just grave twoies. Oh, grave titan, you're always winning games I shouldn't win. Diet soda is not just as bad. <laughs> I I hate when people say that. Like. I don't think there's any definitive proof that diet soda is just as bad. I think there's a lot of research that has gone both ways. I think there has been some things that say like, "Oh, diet soda is bad because it raises your blood sugar." Like, I think there's different. There's different. There's definitely been different studies, and I don't think there's anything conclusive that says diet soda is just as bad as drinking sugared drinks. I just don't think that's true. Like at the end of the day, one has sugar, one doesn't. Like one has calories, one doesn't. Like it may be bad for you, like as far as like maybe it could like cancer and stuff like that but I don't think there's that much proof of that either diet soda is only gateway soda if you let it be I'm just going to block here this Baleful Strix ain't doing nothing.
I, I, again, I don't think like if you want to show me articles in proof, like researched medical journals that say artificial swinger is just as bad for your body. I know there's been like I know in like lab animals that it's happened, but I don't know anyone who's died or gotten cancer from aspartame from like like I just don't think it's I don't think it's uh, been what's it called uh, scientifically proven. Like I don't think that's the case. I think it's just one of those age old rumors that like if you want to lose weight you should cut fat out of your diet which is completely not true right like it's not that's not what you do so like i mean i think there's a lot of why like wives tales um i work in healthcare you can trust me. i mean like but okay so what proof have you seen that artificial sweeteners are just as bad for your body i mean like like I, that's just like a blanket statement that's like me being like i mean it, it's not necessarily proof it's just you using you know Oh, I see. A ravenous chupacabra. Well, it's a good thing I have. I have not gone back to regular soda, and I've drank diet soda for years. <laughs> Literal years. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's in the case where, like, pe if you think drinking diet soda will make it so you'll go back to regular soda, then that's totally yes. But there's definitely you can just not do that. Like you can just get you can get used to right to diet soda. Maybe you can. Yeah, I can. Did. Oh. Well, butter my biscuits, Michael. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Michael's on the floor. I have seen researchers that use lab rat. They use aspartame half the mass of the rat. Yeah, like that's my that's my thing. Like, like that's I don't know of any human being who has had sci that has had a scientifically adverse effect from uh, from aspartame or like artificial sweetener. Like, I know it's probably not good for you. There's no net positive effect for you. But the 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 percentage you're putting into your body, and like the the effect it's going to have on you over a long term. Like, I don't think there's any any scientific. I don't think there can be. I don't think we've known long enough. We haven't been using artificial sweeteners long enough to figure out uh, the effects on a person who's drank, like, X number of diet sodas a day every day for tw 30 years, you know? Like, I work with doctors for decades who strongly suggest against the drinking of diet soda. I trust. I, I believe you. I believe you have. But, like, again, I would want to see the proof for that. Like, I want to, like, it's like being like, hey, doc, what's wrong with uh, diet soda? And he's like, oh, it's not good for you. And I'm like, okay, but why? What's what's actually not good about it? And he's like, it's just not good for you. And I'm like, okay, but but why? Like, you're not telling me. As someone who's, like, as someone who looks, looks for answers and things and wants explanations and want, wants to understand things, just saying, it, you're, you're essentially just saying because I've, I've said so, because I've said so, you know, like, that's, and that's, that's fine, but it's not really good enough for me specifically. Diet soda is not just as bad. The certain sweeteners are carcinogenic. Di drink ones that's too close if you want to be on the safe side. The actual studies argue that diet soda is bad because people are more likely to binge on other unhealthy food, partly because they convince themselves they can get away with it since they're cutting soda, and partly because of the general lifestyle choices of people who drink soda in general. Um, No, that's not. I, I never feel like it's uh, not like I'm getting away with something. The only link I know is if they tell a pregnant woman not to drink it because of sweeteners. So my wife, if, they tell my wife if you have to drink soda during regular but not excess. Um, I've never seen anything else say diet soda makes you gain weight. It's more of a mental thing. I'm just now drinking diet soda after six months. I mean, you also like you could be like, hey, it's it's bad for you, but you can be that. But like, you can be that way about anything. You can be that way about red meat. You can be that way about pork. You can be that way about like. There's so many foods that you can be like, it's bad for you. I think anything is fine in moderation, and there's really no reason to uh, to stigmatize diet soda specifically. Why aren't they talking about this blood gas that has haste? when it's when it's used in moderation you know what i mean you know what i'm saying we've drawn a lot of lands this game one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight eight spells to eleven lands and that's not including one of them is a coalition relic unfortunately if this is a necromancy we can get back this shieldred but then they could just get back Chupacabra. And we know they have a recurring nightmare in hand.
Oh, Spawn Blade, I agree with you. No, I think you, what you said makes total sense. I, I agree with you. I'm just saying that's not the case for me. That specific reason is not for me. I don't, I don't like, substitute other things. I actually, Diet Soda, when I want something sweet, actually, Diet Soda kind of uh, takes care of that craving for me, which is interesting. What are you thinking? Three, four, five, six, seven. We block something. Yeah, Shielded's pretty bad here. I don't know if we can actually beat that. I'm just going to go to the next game. I think that's kind of just that, that unlike all the other foods, you will start artificial seniors are artificial. So while you're right that we don't know, the burden of proof is different than... Um, I don't think that's... I don't know if that's true though, because the way you prepare like things like bacon, uh, you're not preparing it naturally. Bacon is still artificial, essentially, in the sense that like, like you're you're curing it, you're smoking it, like you're 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 adding carcinogens to a thing like bacon, right? Like it's not just thank you. Like it's prepared a certain way, right? So I mean, I don't know. I do I do see what you're saying though. I mean, I think that the, the the issue is. Uh, Artificial sweetener is more chemical in nature. Backlight, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 18 months. That is a good amount of time. I appreciate you. You are great. Michael B. with his glasses on. I kind of want to go with the green here. Because we have a lot of ways to deal with their things. I want to be able to deal with Bitter Blossom and birthing pods and stuff. So I'm going to do that. Um, I hate not having a green, like... I'm going to add two forests and feel bad about it. We're going to take Dragon Skull Summon out, take out Blood Crypt, take out Steam Vents, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine blue sources, and three green sources. This is also uh, not another black source. Um. So we're at 41, so we can play that naturally. Take out the spawn, bring in Vraska. I want Assassin's Trophy. Take out Remand, probably, and a lot of Abrupt Decay. Take out... Maybe Mannequin? Yeah. Sure. No, I like Mannequin, though. They didn't really seem like they had a bunch of things at Target. Hmm. I'll look at that in a second. Um, I have no idea what's cut here. We got one more cut to make. Maybe collector brutality? Yeah, I can see that. Because they're bringing another removal and they didn't have a ton of, uh, like, what do you call it? Tiny creatures to I kill. I can already see a problem with this, this link, by the way. What? Let me just read the first two sentences. <laughs> it's like, okay, more bad news for diet soda lovers. Drinking two or more of any kind of artificial sweetening drinks a day is linked to an increased risk of clot-based strokes, heart attacks, and early death in women over 50. I don't know if I qualify for that. The risks were highest for women with no history of heart disease or diabetes and women who are obese or African-American. This is just, but this does not apply to me. That study in the CNN article does not show causation. Correlation is not causation. Oh, we have an actual worth noting we have an actual scientist in the uh, in the chat while we cannot show causation this is a yellow flag to pay attention to these findings like that just doesn't prove anything 
Oh, wow. That sucks. <sighs> that really sucks. I'm a scientist, too. Double scientists. Dubs scientists. Blue source? No, not a blue source. That's sad. I'm defending my PhD in June. Do I count as a scientist? Yeah, actually, yeah, I would. I would say. Well, it depends on what the PhD is in. If it's in like, if it's in like literature or something, then I'm gonna be like, no, you probably don't have your scientist badge yet. How you doing over here? Hmm? How you doing? So so. Yeah. You don't seem like it's you don't seem like you're like you're straight like you're in constant agony, you know? Which I guess is a good sign. That's about all I can hope for. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we're living. Now we're living our best sinister sabotage life. I'm a PhD in music. Uh that's impressive, but I don't know if we can classify you as a scientist. What instead of soda I would go on an all powered planeswalker spark diet? Ask um I would recommend against that just because uh I think you'd probably I think that would probably be more uh adverse for your health than than artificial sweeteners. I mean look how Nicol Bolas turned out. It's just not mm. Oh, that guy. Oh, we can actually Braska's Contempt this guy. Have you gone to a chiropractor, Mike? Um, I don't know if chiropractor is a good idea. More like Nickel Swolus. Is he is he dead or alive? Oh my God! Do you know how good this forest was? It's pretty. Good. It was awkwardly good. Now it lets us cast everything in our hand if we draw one land for this lady. Oh my goodness gracious! Also, the person I'm going to see is an actual spine doctor. That's who I'm. That's who I'm going to see Tuesday. A spinal doctor. It's actually me. <laughs> Jokes on you guys. What if it was me? What if you went to the doctor and I was just it was just me and I was like, hey, Michael, welcome back. If you could show me your doctorate degree, I'd be like, great, go for it. <laughs> I also would have been like, I don't know, I don't know why you didn't help me previously. I don't know why I had to come to your. And then I would just be like, "Well, you'd have to make an appointment, Michael." I'm a chemist, so yeah. I mean, there are no, in, there are so many studies that show yay or nay. However, in my opinion, it's really the dose, not poison. I agree with you. However, all chemically designed food products are not good for you. I, I agree with that. I don't. I would never say artificial sweeteners are good for you. Plus, studies recently have shown that diet is a high pro propriety for diabetes and heart disease with how the rise to more meat-based diets as of after world war ii because of the access to grocery chains i actually eat very little meat though so i feel like i'm kind of like in the middle there i'm just gonna counter this mold drifter is good you have three cards in hand oh i'm gonna keep that when do we draw dang it's so far away do we treachery this that seems no. that seems <laughs> no they're at 18 man but the problem is they haven't played many other good cards i don't i just don't want this though is the problem we could also play Wretched Confluence here to draw cards, but I don't think we need to do that either. Especially when we have Ancestral Vision coming off the off the chain. I'm reading this study now, and it seems to have nothing to do with Diet Soda. If Diet is in here, it's real buried. Yeah, that was the impression I got as well. Yeah, you went to my dental practice, man. We all know I'm a doctor.
if you can afford a whole foods based diet which is almost impossible these days that's really the only way to truly be by, by whole foods do you mean literal whole foods or whole foods the store that's my uh that's my query i've had a single can of mountain dew sitting on my desk for a month yeah it's probably because it's not cold it's all room temperature now nobody wants that what is this what's coming what's gonna happen right now I mean, we're going to draw three, we're going to play this, and we're going to, if it's a birthing pod, we're just going to kill it. Oh, we're stealing that dude for sure. I'm going to steal this dude, and then I'm going to treacher, then I'm going to Vraska, and it's going to be glorious. I can't stand warm soda in general. If there's a warm soda, I'm just like, throw it in the garbage can, please. This is a good, this is a good target, right? You okay with this guy? Yeah, that's pretty good. You like 6-6 six, six flying trampler that surveils? <clears throat> Want some chicken? Gotta eat a whole chicken. <laughs> uh, dude, that's my problem with bread and eggs. I'm like, man, I'd really like some eggs this week, but I these this dozen eggs is going to go bad before I eat them. Oh, I'd really like to make a couple sandwiches, but this entire loaf of bread is going to go bad before I eat it. Oh, do you want a little milk? Too bad. Oh my god, did I just, oh thank god. I thought I clicked through it because I was reading chat and hanging out. Oh my god, I got so scared. Doesn't Michael B stay in one place anymore? It could be no fantasy, Michael and Manna. No one in restaurants drinks diet soda and look how great they all look. Wow. Yeah, but they also they also their their rate of death is really high too. The, the, the mortality rate in Westeros is real high. What is it? What is why? Why? Dude, what do you have in here? Mull Drifter, Ravenous Chupacabra. Oh God, Recurring Nightmare is such a bullshit card, man. It's so good, dude. It's pretty good. What are they getting back? Big Chupa Loops. That's fine. And then they play it again. They get this. They, they get the Muldrifter. Let's let's at least surveil once. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. really I'll put this in the graveyard. I'll put this one on top. Yes, please. He did. You got it. Man, if only this got permanence, I, I would really get, like to get back a treachery and Ashiok and a. Well, I guess that's just it. I guess. You got it. Oh, you just get your Doomy back. I mean, I got a Vraska on board on deck. Vraska's on deck. I got another Vraska on deck here too. I got so many Vraskas on the deck. I really wish I could play Planeswalkers at uh, at instant speed. Well, they have choops in here, so like Crystal Brand just dies. That's frustrating, man. I guess we can actually kill this with Wretched Confluence. Make a pirate, kill this. They have no pressure on board. We can double block, put them to, to one next turn. Hmm. Or we can play this and bounce this. Which gives us a third body on the board. They get to draw two more cards. One, two, three, four, five. But that's not... There's nothing in the graveyard that really does anything against that. Like, even if they get a Chupacabra back to kill, like, one of our pirates, like, we still have four power. I think I like that. And it doesn't have enough... I don't even think we attack here. 
Like, they have to deal with Frasca, and I don't think they have a way to do it right now. Maybe they do? I don't know. Okay, so this doesn't do anything. They get back like a Doom Whisperer or same thing. Oh, they just mm -hmm. make a 2-2. Two -two. And then they have two mana, but then we put them to one life and then just attack them with three things. Aren't they dead? I think so. <laughs> the, old, the old Liliana zombie concede. God, we're so close to the trophy, Michael. We're so close to it keep doing that maybe you'll shake out my spine as long as it's like as long as it's not affecting your it's not okay i didn't think so because it's more shoulder and back than leg god i wish i wish collective brutality hit uh recurring nightmare Again, as I read this article, I think a lot of stuff they present is done erroneously or in a misleading way. They use people who don't drink any pop as a baseline, which, okay, correlation issues, but also, yeah, no drinking soda isn't free health-wise. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, let me resub for another five days. That's weird, because you don't have the sub, Badgerino. We don't need no stinking sub badges. That's not true. We actually do need those. I like the remand here. We can slow them down a little bit. If you know, and I don't like, I don't like, I don't know if I like makeshift mannequin. We have five creatures in our deck. Wow, this is aggressive. Makeshift mannequin's real aggressive. What do we have? Gristlebrand, Grave Titan, uh, Baleful Strix, Riftwing, Cloud Skate, and one, two. Oh, Scarab God. Jeez. We have we we're playing like makeshift mannequin and Necromancy is good because it can it can hit their creatures and it just combos within tomb. But oh, that's a hunter shaken. Oh, he probably heard a uh, a noise. There was yeah, that's there the thunder going on. I'm going to keep this cuz this is also either a second black or a green. And we get that first turn ancestral, second turn remand, like you do. Never mind, we get one of those two, I guess. Well, duress. This is why I like duress in this cube. Like it's just you're always going to hit something good. Yep, I'll go on. Everybody's sad. Yeah, JTHD. I don't. I don't. I don't think we're like. I don't think we're fighting or anything. I just think uh, we're just having a discussion, a little soda discussion. Do you have a list of your two? Yes, I do. I I never remember if it's Frank Cube or Frank's Cube. I guess those are both the same. So I guess the answer is yes. Let's draw an Assassin's Trophy or an Abrupt Decay or a Vraska that can kill this Bitter Blossom. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. You make a guy, I'll kill it. Every turn, my dude. Crown isn't sub, the pig is sub. Crown just means you have prime, yeah. That is correct. Uh, opinions on cubes that are over a thousand cards? I Low opinion. I don't think you can have any cohesive strategies. I think you're just trying to draft a bunch of random cards. Wow. They're, oh, they're missing land drops. Oh, they missed three land drops. Oh, yeah. That's pretty bad. Especially when you have remand in hand. Um, we could Vraska's Contempt this. They can't do anything else here. We could also just literally... Shoot it with Lyon. 
Right, but then when they have two guys on board, I don't want them to have any bodies because then I don't want Liliana to take down. Yeah, we can also just... We have so many answers to this. It's totally fine. No, prime subs and regular subs look exactly the same as far as badges go. We don't need no stinking badges. You know what that's from? Your mom. Got him. Oh. Got him. Did you guys see me get him? Okay, so I think we're actually going to use Murderous Cut here instead. Because I like the Exile of Vraska. It also has Planeswalkers in case they drop like an Ashiok or something. We don't have any pressure for that. You okay? Hmm? You okay? Kind of spaced out there. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what was happening. Yeah, this feels okay. I guess we could play Scarab God, but I just don't feel like... We're so close to ultimating Liliana that like... Taking the, the shields down here seems pretty bad. If they play a creature, we have an answer. If they play a... Yep, we just win. Trophy number three, ladies and gentlemen. Check out manatraders.com. Link is in the description below. You'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. Digital magic online cards or physical paper cards. Check out meundies.com slash Frank Lafour. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And check out coolstuffinc.com. You'll find articles from me. And if you buy anything, you can use promo code Frank5 uh, to get 5% off. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving.